the Annunciation, based on the first chapter of the Gospel of Luke. Hi, I'm Miss Kathy. Happy Feast of the Annunciation. During the rule of King Herod of Judea, in the town of Nazareth, which is in the region of Galilee, there lived a young woman named Mary. Mary lived at home with her parents, Anne and Joachim. She was engaged to marry a man of great faith, a man named Joseph. But they were not married yet. Suddenly, an angel appeared to Mary. It was the angel Gabriel, a messenger from God. The angel Gabriel greeted Mary with great respect, saying, "Hail, Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with you." Mary was afraid and confused. The angel Gabriel reassured Mary and said, "Do not be afraid." You have found favor with God, and God wants you to have a baby boy. He will be great. He will be God's son. He will sit on the throne of David. He will rule over the house of Jacob, and his kingdom will have no end. Now, if you remember. Mary was not married yet, so she was really confused, and she said, "But how can this be?" The angel Gabriel explained, "The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and you will be the mother of God's own son." Wow! This was really exciting news, but Gabriel. Wasn't finished yet, but wait, there's more. Mary, I have some more exciting news for you. For behold, there is also news about your cousin. Mary's cousin Elizabeth was much older than Mary, and Elizabeth was married to Zachariah. Both Elizabeth and Zachariah were very good people. They loved God very much, and they loved one another very much. But they had one great sadness. They were now both quite old, and they had no children of their own. Elizabeth was finally pregnant, for as the angel Gabriel said, nothing is impossible for God. Then the angel Gabriel said, "Mary, will you do what God asks?" And Mary answered, "Behold, I am God's servant. Let it happen as you have said." Mary said yes to God, yes to being the mother of Jesus. And so it was that many prophecies were fulfilled through Mary's faithfulness and righteousness, and God came to earth as a baby boy. Therefore, the Lord Himself will give you a sign: the young woman, pregnant and about to bear a son, and you shall call him Emmanuel. Isaiah seven fourteen, Emmanuel, God with us.